What is going on with the new Red Bull cars this season? Red Bull thinks to know what went wrong with Max Verstappen his car in the Grand Prix of Australia. Max Verstappen won the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix, but he was not able to finish the race in Australia. As a result, he drops to the sixth position in the World Cup rankings, to the frustration of the Dutchman, who has no idea what went wrong. Will Max Verstappen keep his title of world champion, or did he already blow his chances? Let's find out. Max Verstappen seemed to have pole position for a while during the qualifying at the Albert Park circuit in Melbourne. Unfortunately, with a difference of 286 milliseconds, Ferrari's Charles Leclerc set a faster time at the last moment that resulted in a second place for Max Verstappen. With teammate Sergio Perez starting behind him at third place, the Red Bull team had a good start position after all. Although, Max Verstappen said, I knew before the race that I might not finish. From the beginning of the season both Max and Sergio have problems with their cars. In the first race of this season, Max and Sergio faced a similar problem shortly after each other during the Bahrain Grand Prix. It caused both drivers to drop out and left Red Bull without any points. Is this the same thing that is causing the troubles during the race in Australia? Also Verstappen mentioned earlier that he doesn't feel comfortable in his new RB18 yet. We haven't seen the real Verstappen this season. The Dutchman has a hard time driving perfect laps, as seen by his performance in qualifying in Melbourne. Where he once swept Perez under the rug, the Mexican is now unexpectedly near. Verstappen noted in Australia that the RB18's handling is unpredictable. Several times during practice and qualifying, he was surprised by the car's suddenness, which is far from ideal. The front-end grip is also not at the desired level, so the car does not steer as well as Verstappen would want it to be. Despite this, Verstappen still manages to achieve a speed that should have earned him at least second place in every race. But what exactly caused Max to retire the Australian Grand Prix? Before Verstappen crashed out of the Australian Grand Prix, he was on his way to the second place. However, he was unable to keep up with Charles Leclerc, as Verstappen suffered from a lot of tire wear and lost a large amount of time as a result. He struggled with his tires on Sunday, caused by Red Bull's mistake. He lost a lot of time on the medium tire, especially in the first stint. According to Christian Horner, at one point Verstappen lost almost a second per lap. He suffered a lot of graining, what occurs when a tire loses small bits of rubber which reattach to another area on the tire, resulting in an uneven surface. This has a negative impact on the tire's performance. Horner acknowledges Verstappen didn't feel well in the car and believes it was due to a miscalculation during Friday's free practice sessions. Our tires were not in the best possible condition, Horner said. On Friday we saw that during the race there would probably be a lot of graining on the rear tires. Red Bull, however, came out disappointed. A combination of the evolving track and probably the higher temperatures caused it to be the other way around. Did that made the difference on Sunday? Horner is not sure. Eventually, it didn't matter because of Verstappen's retirement, but if it weren't for the setup error, the Dutchman could at least have been more competitive. Horner said, in the end, that's why we didn't get to see Max's true speed. If we had done it differently, we could have been more competitive. Ferrari was very strong this weekend though, so I'm not sure we could have matched their pace. Seconds before Verstappen dropped out of the race, he said that he smelled a weird fuel. Red Bull thinks to know how that could happen. The team is currently still analyzing what led Verstappen to withdraw from the race. With the expectation that the issue had something to do with fuel delivery. Although, it is evident that there was a leak somewhere in the supply. The team's misery is compounded by the fact that it crashed out of the first race of 2022 due to another fuel supply issue. According to Horner, the issue was completely different from the one that forced Verstappen and teammate Sergio Perez to withdraw late in the Bahrain season. Opener due to a vacuum in the fuel system, preventing enough petrol from reaching the engine. It looks like a fuel system issue, external to the tank, that has caused the issue. So obviously, it's gone into quarantine, the parts will obviously return to Japan, and we'll try and understand the problem as quickly as we can.
AlphaTauri, Red Bull's sister team, has also suffered reliability concerns in the early part of the season. But Horner mentioned the issues were all independent and none of them have been related. Obviously we need to understand those and address them quickly, Horner said. We've given up 36 points for Max in the first two races, and we've given up 50 points for the team. Both the Constructors' and Drivers' Championships would be remarkably different if that would be the case. Will there be a good chance for a comeback, or do we have to be concerned about the championship? We're just around 10% of the way through the championship, Horner said. So I believe there is still a huge amount of work to be done. There are still 544 points to be allocated after 20 races. As a result, the season is still very long and Red Bull and Verstappen have nothing to lose, but no new mistakes must be made. To date, every DNF has earned Leclerc 26 extra points in the race for the World Championship. Verstappen is unlikely to make up points by winning a race, at least not with Leclerc trailing him. We're already miles behind, so I don't even want to think about the championship fight at the moment, Verstappen said. It's more important to finish races. Verstappen reacts, overall, it was another bad day. We didn't really have the pace and I had to pay particular attention to tire wear so I could keep it up until the end. It looked like an easy P2 because I knew I couldn't catch Charles. There was no point in trying to put pressure on him. At the next GP in Italy, Red Bull will unveil a big improvement package for the car. This will entail the installation of a new floor, which should help to improve the car's balance. Importantly, the RB18 will be on a strict diet. According to Technical Formula One journalist Paolo Filicetti, the answer to the overweight is not simple due to the budget ceiling. Formula One teams will be allowed to spend just $140 million on car development in 2022. New lighter parts must be designed with caution, and a costly new part must be exactly what Red Bull requires. After the FIA handed other teams an edge, the overly heavy floor may actually be lighter by a few kilos. Do you think the problems are solved before the next GP in Italy? Do you think Max Verstappen will be able to keep his title of world champion? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more of Max Verstappen and Formula One, make sure to subscribe to our channel.